On October 7, 2025, the European Space Agency released images no one expected. Photos of the interstellar comet 3I Atlas, captured by a Mars orbiter camera never meant to glimpse deep space. What those photos revealed has stunned even the most seasoned scientists. A fuzzy, glowing sphere, 10,000 times dimmer than any usual target, radiating a negative polarization value so extreme it simply shouldn't exist. But that's just the beginning. In a twist that aligns with the title, ESA releases new disturbing 3i Atlas photos while NASA goes dark. NASA data on this object has vanished amid a government shutdown. So what exactly did ESA find that makes these images so disturbing? And why are experts now questioning everything we know about comets and interstellar visitors? The European Space Agency newsroom pulsed with urgency as the official release hit the wire. Photos of 3 Iatelis, an interstellar object caught just days after skimming past Mars, at a distance of 18.6 million miles. October 7, 2025, instantly became a landmark date in space science. For only the third time in recorded history, an object confirmed to have originated beyond our solar system was not just detected, but directly imaged. The timing was extraordinary. ESA's data surfaced while NASA's own Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter remained silent, its feeds locked behind a government shutdown. This left ESA as the sole public voice, and their findings sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. The images themselves were nothing like the crisp comet portraits of the past. Instead, 3 I Atlas appeared as a diffuse glowing sphere, barely more than a fuzzy blot against the darkness yet unmistakably real. The object's faintness was staggering. It glimmered between 10,000 and 100,000 times dimmer than the Martian features the orbiter's camera was built to capture. Still, the data was clear enough to reveal a visual anomaly. The sphere's glow was not just faint, but optically bizarre, with light waves emerging in a pattern that defied every standard model of cometary dust. ESA's press release did not mince words. The agency confirmed that the negative polarization measurement, how the light scattered off the object, reached a value of minus 2.77%. This number immediately stood out to experts, since no comet, asteroid, or interstellar visitor had ever shown such an extreme reading. In the words of Dr. Lucia Benetov, the mission lead for the orbiter's camera, the level of polarization simply shouldn't be possible in comet science. We rechecked every filter, every angle. The statement echoed across newsrooms and research labs. Something about 3D Atlas was fundamentally different. Within hours, debate erupted among planetary scientists and astronomers worldwide. The object's sheer rarity was enough to draw attention. After all, only two other confirmed interstellar visitors Aumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019 had ever been tracked entering and leaving the solar system. But 3I Atlas set itself apart not just by its origin, but by its mass, its optical signature, and the circumstances of its discovery. For the first time, a comet-like body from deep space was being observed in real time as it swept through the inner solar system with every available instrument trained on its path. The urgency was not just scientific, but public. ESA's newsroom fielded a flood of questions from journalists and citizen scientists alike, eager to understand what made these images so important. As details emerged about the technical hurdles and the unprecedented nature of the detection, the focus shifted from the mere fact of interstellar arrival to the deeper question of what exactly had been captured in these ghostly frames. The world now had a front row seat to a cosmic event that challenged the very foundation of comet science. And the answers, it seemed, would only grow stranger with every new piece of data. What makes the 3 I Atlas images truly remarkable isn't just what they show, but how they were captured. The CASIS camera aboard ESA's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter was never intended for this kind of work. Its design is tailored for sharp sunlit views of Martian canyons and craters not for chasing a faint distant visitor from outside the solar system. Yet, 
Under the direction of lead engineer Nick Thomas, the team took a calculated risk. They pushed CASIS to its technical limits, dialing in five-second exposures, ten times longer than its normal settings, just to coax a signal out of the cosmic background. Even then, the challenge was immense. Cheer Hall. The Atlas was between 10,000 and 100,000 times dimmer than the Martian rocks the camera was built to photograph. The risk of sensor noise, cosmic ray hits, and spacecraft jitter loomed over every frame. To make matters more complicated, the orbiter had to maintain an exact attitude, tracking the object's slow drift against a field of background stars, with adjustments measured to fractions of an arc second. The slightest error would have blurred the comet into nothingness. But the effort didn't stop with the spacecraft team. As soon as the raw data packets hit Earth, a global network of citizen scientists sprang into action. Using open source tools, they aligned each frame using the stars as guideposts, stacking dozens of exposures to boost the signal from the ghostly sphere. Some groups experimented with sigma-clipped stacking to weed out cosmic rays and stray light from Mars. Others wrote scripts to subtract background stars, enhancing the faint circular glow that marked the comet's presence. Adrian Chalupka, an amateur in Prague, was the first to flag the strange optical signature. His alert triggered a deeper review by ESA's own analysts. Every step of the process was double-checked. ESA's official pipeline and independent citizen workflows arrived at the same fuzzy elliptical spot, a feature twice the width of the background stars, centered exactly where 3 i Atlas was predicted to be. Instrumental artifacts were ruled out through repeated reprocessing and calibration with standard stars confirmed the readings. The data held up. Despite being pushed far beyond its comfort zone, CASES delivered images that were not only real, but scientifically robust. In a year when official channels faltered, this mix of engineering ingenuity and grassroots collaboration built an unshakable foundation for everything that followed. The numbers behind 3i Atlas are staggering, even by interstellar standards. Mass estimates now exceed 33 billion tons, putting this object a thousand times above the weight of a typical comet like Halley. Imagine stacking a thousand aircraft carriers end to end, then multiplying that by another thousand. That's the kind of heft 3i Atlas brings as it cuts through the solar system. Its nucleus, the solid heart of the object, is estimated between three and five miles wide. For comparison, that's the distance from one edge of Manhattan to the other, all packed into a single, spinning chunk of ancient material. But the real surprise lies in the envelope of gas and dust, the coma that surrounds this nucleus. Data from the CASIS camera on ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiters show a dense glowing halo stretching roughly 680 miles across. Yet earlier Hubble images taken from much farther away recorded a coma nearly 4,000 miles wide. This dramatic difference isn't just a trick of distance or fading light. It hints at a structure that's both more compact and more massive than any cometary coma previously observed. The inner coma appears tightly bound, almost refusing to disperse as sunlight strikes it. That kind of cohesion at this scale is unprecedented. Surface brightness measurements add another layer of confusion. The way sunlight bounces off the dust and gas doesn't fit any known comet profile, where ordinary comets scatter light in predictable patterns, creating familiar tails and halos. 3i Atlas reflects and polarizes light in a way that's never been recorded. The negative polarization value, already flagged as an anomaly, points to dust grains with shapes or compositions outside anything seen in the solar system. Some researchers suggest these grains could be jagged, porous, or even made from exotic minerals that don't exist on Earth. All of this data comes with a level of confidence rarely seen in planetary science. Teams from over 200 observatories have contributed to the mass calculations, cross-checking every assumption about brightness, distance, and outgassing. The result? An object whose sheer weight and structural integrity 
resist every attempt to fit it into the known categories of comets or asteroids. Its physical presence is undeniable, but its nature remains a puzzle. The numbers demand an explanation that current models simply can't supply. Trajectory data from over 200 observatories paint a picture of motion that is anything but ordinary. 3i Atlas is barreling toward the sun at 134,000 miles per hour, a speed that leaves most comets in the dust. Yet for all its velocity and active outgassing, the object barely budges from its calculated path. The measured acceleration due to gas jets, less than 50 feet per day, is so minuscule that it defies expectations for a body this active. Normally, when sunlight heats a comet, jets of vapor act like tiny thrusters, nudging the nucleus off course. In this case, the effect is almost invisible, suggesting a mass and internal strength that dwarf every known comet. The stability is confirmed by independent teams in Japan and Germany, who tracked the object using both amateur telescopes and data relayed from ESA's Mars Express and JUICE missions. Their findings match the official numbers. The orbit fit residuals, or tiny deviations from predicted motion, are well within error margins. The comet's path is so steady that even sophisticated software designed to catch the smallest wobbles returns a flat line. For an object venting gas across millions of miles, this is unheard of. It means the nucleus must be not just large, but held together by forces far stronger than those does of a typical icy wanderer. But the real statistical oddity lies in the trajectory itself. 3i Atlas is slicing through the solar system within five degrees of Earth's orbital plane, the ecliptic, a narrow corridor where all the major planets travel. The odds of an interstellar object happening to arrive on such a path, by random chance, are less than 1%. And there's another twist. Its approach lines up within 9 degrees of the sky, coordinates where the famous WOW signal was detected in 1977, a radio burst that has puzzled astronomers for nearly half a century. These numbers aren't just quirks of geometry, they fuel heated debates in both research journals and late-night forums. Some call it cosmic coincidence. Others, like Professor Lars Botger at the Max Planck Institute, point out that the alignment is so precise, it feels engineered. Timing adds another layer. 3. I-Atlas is set to make its closest pass to the Sun, perihelion, on October 30th, 2025, coming within 60 million miles of our star, well inside Venus's orbit. As it accelerates, Every instrument capable of tracking its position is watching for any sign of instability or sudden change. If the object's course holds, it will sweep past the sun and out of the solar system, leaving behind a trail of data and a long list of questions about how something so massive, so stable, and so perfectly aligned could arrive at this moment in cosmic history. Chemical analysis of 3i Atlas has only deepened the mystery the SphereX Observatory mapped carbon dioxide jets streaming 216,000 miles from the nucleus, nearly the distance between Earth and the Moon. But these emissions don't form the usual smooth halo seen in comets. Instead, the CO2 escapes in sharply defined jets, each one tracing a path that looks almost engineered. Some jets even align along great circles, a pattern that's rare in natural bodies and nearly unheard of at this scale. Planetary spectroscopists have struggled to explain the geometry, with some suggesting surface fissures or venting points that hint at an uneven, possibly fractured crust. Spectral data add another layer of confusion. The nickel signature stands out. Strong emission lines appear without the usual accompanying iron. In the solar system, nickel and iron are nearly inseparable, forged together in the hearts of dying stars. Here, nickel dominates while iron barely registers above detection thresholds. The ratio is so unnatural that some researchers quietly wonder if the material was sorted or processed before it ever arrived. This is where the debate splits. Avi Loeb at Harvard points to the polarization and composition as possible evidence for alien dust or engineered surfaces, features that don't fit any known comet. His critics warn against jumping to conclusions, but Loeb is unmoved point to a single instance of minus 2.7% negative polarization in a comet. 
you cannot. Meanwhile, others propose radical but natural origins. Dr. Suzanne Fnair, a planetary formation theorist, suggests three bon Kohamai Atlas could be a planetary seed, a massive cohesive fragment capable of triggering planet growth if it crossed into a young solar system. If true, planets across the galaxy might carry cores seeded by objects like this, their chemistry forever marked by an alien origin. The stakes are clear. Every new observation could tilt the balance between a natural cosmic wanderer and something far stranger. Every major observatory scrambled for a front row seat as 3i Atlas barreled toward the sun. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and Mars Express kept their instruments locked onto the faint glow, relaying data back to ESA's control rooms with barely a minute to spare between transmission windows. At Jupiter, the JUICE spacecraft provided a rare cross-solar system perspective, triangulating the object's position with unprecedented precision. Meanwhile, the world's most powerful telescope, the James Webb, interrupted its scheduled exoplanet survey for an emergency override. Within hours of the ESA image release, JWST's operations team cleared three observation slots, shifting focus to three Iatalis and sacrificing planned studies of distant worlds. But not every agency could respond. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which might have delivered the sharpest images yet, sat silent. A government shutdown locked its data behind legal barriers, leaving mission scientists frustrated and the public in the dark. A leaked memo showed internal teams pushing for a workaround, but the risk of violating federal law kept the switch off. Despite the blackout, a lucky streak appeared in the raw images from Perseverance Rover's Skycam. A fleeting trace, likely 3i Atlas, caught as it passed over the Martian horizon. Time is running out. With perihelion approaching on October 30th, every telescope and spacecraft is racing to capture final readings. This is the most coordinated global observation campaign ever launched for an interstellar visitor, a sprint against the sun, with no guarantee the object will survive its close brush with our star. On October 7th, 2025, the European Space Agency released images from the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter showing 3i Atlas, a 33 billion ton interstellar object, just 18.6 million miles from Mars. The Cassius camera, designed for Mars, captured a faint, negatively polarized sphere with properties no known comet can match. Spectral data revealed carbon dioxide jets stretching over 200,000 miles in a rare nickel without iron signature, while the object's trajectory aligned within 5 degrees of Earth's orbital plane and 9 degrees of the 1977 WOW signal. Yet NASA's Mars data remained inaccessible during a government shutdown, leaving gaps in the record. Scientists agree, three defies current models of comet chemistry, motion, and origin. As the world's telescopes focus on its final approach to the Sun, the evidence forces a re-evaluation of how interstellar objects form and travel. Whether 3i Atlas is a natural anomaly or something engineered, its brief passage has changed how we understand our place in the cosmos.